Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. Uh, today we're going to be doing an upgrade on a Dell 15 series Inspiron laptop. Uh, we're going to replace the 7200 RPM uh, mechanical hard drive that ships with it uh, with one of our Performance Series P128 solid state drives. Uh, so let's get started. So here we've got our P128 solid state drive, Phillips head screwdriver, and our laptop that we're going to be upgrading. We'll want to start off by unplugging the system from any wall outlet. We don't want any power getting to the system while we're busy upgrading it. And because of that, we'll also want to remove the battery from the system. You can see there's a quick release button here, uh, which should allow the battery to pop right out. Now that we know the laptop has no power going to it, uh, we'll want to locate the access panel on the back. And usually there's just a few screws here holding it in place. Uh, we'll want to remove this panel and that will expose the hard drive uh, that we'll be replacing in this system. And there it is. So usually there's about four screws that hold the hard drive in place. Uh, we'll just want to remove these four screws, remember where they came from and set them aside. We'll be reusing them to mount our SSD back in there. And once the hard drive is loose, it should just pull out away from the connector, and then you, just, you can just pull it up and it should come right out. You'll see that there is a hard drive cradle, um, which the hard drive is mounted in, and there's another four screws which uh, mount the hard drive to the cradle. We'll want to remove these screws and reuse this cradle uh, when we install our salt state drive. So you can see it's fits the same way. Um, just screw in the solid state drive the same way that you unscrewed the uh, regular hard drive from the cradle. And once it's mounted in there, uh, you want to just lay it right back in the same way as the other one was in there. Uses the same connector. Slide it right in. It should lock into place. And the screw hole should line back up and you'll want to remount the uh, drive in there with the same screws. There we go, we've screwed all of them all back in. And we will replace our uh, access panel. Remember to screw in the screws that were removed earlier. Plug your battery back in so we can power the system up. Make sure it's locked into place and should be all set. So there you have it, only took us a couple minutes to upgrade to our P128 solid state drive. Uh, you're going to notice increases in overall performance as well as extended battery life when going to an SSD. Uh, for more information on Corsair solid state drives, check out our website at Corsair.com.